went ahead and added the word copy to my list or to my my name and I'm going to delete this part and I'm going to say add levels because I've added maps and now I'm going to add different levels and it's going to be draft three. So that's my new version and I'll, I'll save this in the game files. So now what we need to do, we've so far we've made it so that our marble races along and when it gets to the end it goes back to the beginning. But what we want to do now is make it so that when we get to the end of the level, not only does it go back to the beginning, but it changes the map to a new level. And so what we are going to do when you are, when we get to the end of the line, we want to also trigger it to, to create a new map or to save our new map. So um, right now we're going to reuse some of the same material. In fact, this whole if touching goal, we also want to use that to um, send us to the new level. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our new level first. So I go over to my um, stage, my backdrops, and I click on backdrops up here, and this lets me add new maps, and I've got level one. And I, I think the easiest thing to do is make sure that I'm set on Go ahead and choose fill and choose that this green color using this little eyedropper tool. It'll take a sample of whatever color you want. I want to reuse my same green. And then I click on new, paint a new backdrop. And there's probably an easier way to do this, but this is how I'm doing it. Um, and then I'm going to click on this fill button and I'm going to fill it with green. Oh, this is the same problem I had yesterday. Click the fill button change it to bitmap and then change it back to vector. Okay, fill it in. And now I've just got a blank green canvas. In fact, I could probably call this something like um, level template or something like that. Let's do that. That way I don't have to do that step every time. Um, and then I'm going to make a copy of this which I think I can right, yeah, I right click it and I duplicate or um, what do you guys do? Control click, something like that. And then I'm going to call, so here's my level template two. Um, I'll call this one level two. And then I'm going to move it up top here. There we go. And now it goes level one, level two. And you can, you can do this indefinitely. And what I do now is I just draw a new road. It's going to keep the same ball and the same goal. I'm just going to draw a new road. So I grab my paintbrush. I choose a size that I want to use. I choose a color. I want to use black again. So I just drop the brightness all the way down to zero. And then, oh yeah, my brush is way too small. I think I had it maybe 100 before. Um, that might, that, that's probably good enough. And then I'm going to start roughly right in the middle of my screen and I'm going to draw, this time I'm going to add a little bit of, make my road a little more challenging. So I'm going to do something like this. Not just a straight line. This time it goes a little crazy. And then I'll know it's working if, when I look over here at my stage, sure enough, the ball is in the road and I've got the goal still in position at the end of the road. So I can test it out. I can click on my little green flag and then try moving the ball. And, and I'm still guiding my way down the road. And when I get to the end, oh, yep, it brings me back to the beginning. Okay, so this is going to work. Now I just have to set it up so that I can... start go to the new level when I get to the end. I can't remember, did we already add did we add the ability for it to slow down when it gets to oh we didn't do that yet. Okay. Well we'll we'll add that as a bonus feature later. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to add this ability when touching goal to go to the next level. So this is actually a pretty easy fix. All we have to do is go to looks and down here, you've got next backdrop. And 
oh, I just realized the only catch will be that when we get to that level temp template, things will be kind of weird. So next backdrop, and it'll it it just goes back to the beginning. So if you get to the the final backdrop, it'll just go back to the beginning backdrop. So we've, we're set on backdrop one, and I'm gonna stop this game. I'll try it again, and now it should when I get to the end of this level, it should jump me back to the beginning and open our next map. Oh, look at that. Oh, cool. So now I'm going to guide my way through. Oh, watch out. I almost went off the road. Oh, and then it gets to this level template, which we'll have to fix. I think if we just add enough levels before then and then add like an end screen before then, then we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more levels. And it's, again, it's pretty simple to just click on backdrops. We can duplicate this a couple times. Duplicate again. And each of them I'm going to name. This one will be level three. And this one will be level four. Oops, there's my blank level template. This one will be level three. And then four. So now I just draw in some different roads, and you can get crazy with it. So that last one was just a little squiggle. Maybe I'm going to make this one a little more complicated. So like it's going to go like this, and then you're going to have to turn really sharp, and then you're going to go over here to the and I'm going to add a little bit more right here to the beginning. Make sure that I have enough room. Okay. Looks good. It matches up. Yeah, again, you want to make sure that the marble is on the course when you start. In fact, I'm going to... Yeah, I guess I'll leave it like that. And then level four. Same deal. This one's going to be crazy, though. Um, what can I do? Ooh, I'll make it so you can choose which course you want to do. This one up top, you can go th this way, but it's going to have kind of a narrow opening. I'll have to fix that in a minute. And so it's risky because you might end up going off the road. Or you can go down on the lower one. Make sure that worked. Okay, that'll work. Or you can take the lower course and it's squiggly. So you have to go over that that spot up there, which will slow you down, which we still need to add. But you can you can do this, and you can even add. Um, here's another fun thing you can do: is you can take. Let's add another sprite, and let's add some background, some like trees and things like that. I think right now we just have to like kind of stamp them in place. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's an easier way to do this. Just make a copy of a tree that we can use again and again, but I'm not sure we can. Okay, for now, well, let's see what happens. Choose a backdrop. Surprise, upload. I guess we could find a picture if we wanted to, but let's try to see if we can just add a sprite. Uh, I think it's only backdrops, and we don't want to replace our whole backdrop. Okay, so let's try adding... Let's just paint some trees, I guess. So let's go up here, level one, and... Grab my paintbrush, set my size to like 20, and then grab some brown for the stem of my tree. There we go, a couple trees. Okay, that's just an example of how you can decorate. There we go, test it out. Sure enough, try my next courses. Ooh, swerving. 
Oh, sharp turn, come on. Slow me down on those turns. That's the fun thing about this marble, the marble controls, that they're, it's kind of hard to control. Hey, it worked. Cool. Okay.